parents, we will talk about the properties of 3D shapes. 3D shapes are solid shapes. This is a cube. It has six flat faces. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Where two faces meet, we call it edge. So a cube has 12 edges. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. It has eight vertices. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is a cuboid. It has six flat faces. One, two, three, four, five, and six. It has 12 edges. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. It has eight vertices. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A cuboid has four rectangular face and two square faces. So we can say that 3D shapes have 2D faces. This is a cylinder. It has one curved face and two flat faces. It has no vertex. This is a cone. It has one curved face and one flat face, one vertex. This is a pyramid. It is a square base pyramid. Students can have rectangular and triangular base for pyramids also. It has five flat faces. One, two, three, four, and five. And five vertices. One, two, three, four, and five. This is a sphere. It has one curved face and it looks the same however we turn it. As 2D and 3D shapes are part of everyday life, so we ask our students to look around themselves and find out the objects or the things that resemble 2D or 3D shapes. So the students may say that they will come up with an example like a dice resemble a cube, a shoe box or a biscuit box, it is like a cuboid, a marker or a tube like light is like a cylinder, a, an ice cream cone or a party cap resembles cone. A tent is like a pyramid and a football is just like a sphere.